Yo, what's going on, guys? So, I'm going to be talking about PD array violations today, okay? And I love using them. Um, they're one of my favorite setups. Um, and I've, I've taught them before, just in a different language. So, all a PD array violation is, is when a fair value gets violated and used as an inverse, or like an order block gets violated and you know where the next draw is. Okay, so basically today um, in my Discord, okay, I said, by the way, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, so I forgot to say that. Um, also, click the link in the description for the Apex uh, accounts. Uh, but basically today, um, I was kind of talking about this very back up right here, and uh, my buddy Leopard and, and voice him, and he goes, would you long this? And I said, yes. Okay, why did I say yes? Because if you ever see like a five minute fair value gap like this, and we're re delivering from a higher time frame fair value gap, which would be this one, after we hit the low, okay, um, that tells you that the draw should be higher. So the second you see this kind of break and not respect it, you, that you start to tell you the draw is higher, okay? And all this is is a violation of this PD array, okay? And this is only one PD array, okay? This is the second one, which is an order block, and I'm assuming there's more in the lower time frame. Yeah, so there is. There's obviously this for really gap. There's uh, even smaller ones right here. You can see like this volume and balance gets violated, right? This fair value gap gets violated. Just a lot of these fair fair value gaps are all getting violated. Okay, so there's about one, two, and then this um, order block gets violated. Three. So you can see how these order blocks sitting violated and these fair value gaps sitting violated. What that usually means is you're usually in you usually have the wrong bias, okay. And I like to find as many PD arrays as possible and, and figure out okay if these are violated, I know we're gonna go down and hit the next low. So in this example, you can see you could use a fair value gap, volume and balance, and then order block. And when you see all these see violated, you know that this price is probably not bearish, okay. Um, now, now there were equal lows down here, and what I said was, if we violate this, I'll be bearish. Okay, why this? Well, if we look very carefully, okay, because this is a decent displacement, because it's decent displacement, structure was bullish. Okay, however, I saw liquidity to the bear side, but you you can't fade structure. So if you are targeting liquidity or some sort of liquidity, you have to be see structure supporting it. So basically what I want, what I wanted to see is structure not supporting these bullish PD arrays, which it was. And I said, if this gets violated, I'll, I'll kind of reverse my position and go short. So we have this bullish free value gap. Um, we have a kind of a bullish volume imbalance here, and then we have another bullish free value gap here. So when we were about right here, I said this, I said, if these get violated, if this gets violated, which means this volume advance would get violated, which means this would get violated, which means the inverse fair value gap would get violated, right? If these get violated, I said, I bet you we would go for these lows, okay? Did we ever violate it? No, we did not, okay? So you can't really change your bias there. But you can see how I would have used them if we did, okay? Now, same thing with like something like, let's see here. Um, Something like this, okay? Because we held it, it's just not bearish, okay? And because we held that, we got the confirmation entry, okay? Now, what if we violated this? I probably, again, would have been looking for these lows, okay? But because we did not violate this, would not have been looking for those lows, okay? And just in this situation, like uh, up here, let me see if I can find a good example. Let me go to like Euro or something. Um, so in this situation up here, okay, you can kind of see we have a bullish fair value up here with a lot of displacement. That that gets violated, and then we have a another bullish fair value gap BPR which also gets violated. And just overall, none of these bullish PD rates are holding. And then you also see these order blocks eventually get violated. Okay, that's three PD rates. So when you see that, you should automatically know that the next low should be the draw. Okay, and I like to look for two or three. Sometimes you can kind of jump the gun a little bit and be like, okay, two were violated. This is probably the next draw. 
I think three is the sweet spot. Um, okay, same thing with like if you look at gold, you can see this is violated. This bearish fair value cap is respected, which ends up violating this later. Okay. Um, okay, which causes price to say what? To say that this is the draw. Okay. And you can see we don't end up hitting right away. Price action kind of turns neutral a little bit, but then again, what happens? We reviolate this. Okay. We respect this ore block. Right, we never respect any of these bullish free value gaps, right? This is not respected. This is not respected. Right? None of these are getting respected. The only thing getting respected is a sparish free value gap above. So when you see that and you see all these violations, that tells you the draw is probably the next low, which would be down here. And you, if you can look closely, we do have some low resistance liquidity, right? Um, you have a bunch of high like lows here, 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 here. So a lot of engineering liquidity as well. So again, when you see three or more, you, again, you can use two, but I prefer three, violated, three or more PD rates violated, that means the draw will probably be the next low. Okay, so I think it's something to look out for. I think it's very important um, to kind of look for. Okay. Um, so yeah, again, go back test this, draw as many PD rates as you can in one, one minute, see what happens when they get violated. Again, this is going to take some screen time to do, and I call out a lot of the PD rays I'm looking at in stream. I think the main ones I like to use in combination are like a volume and balance, order block, fair value gap. Or a fair value gap, order block, and then like a breaker on the opposite side. Those are the three main ones. Um, I use inversion violation sometimes, but sometimes that just means price action is bad. So I try to stick with just the order block, fair value gap, and volume and balance. So yeah, start looking for those PDRA violations. It really can tell you the draw. Even if you kind of relate to the party, you can still get a really good move once these are violated. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions in my Discord. Um, other than that, thanks for watching and peace out.